face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle, of course, which is truly the Scarender. And today we're going up against Gara. Gara is a longtime follower and, of course, friend on Twitter. And quite honestly, uh, I enjoy battling him a whole lot because he's so unpredictable. He's not that meta heavy. And it's a good thing when it comes to this kind of environment because he always threw me off. And uh, that's a good thing in this environment because that always means that I have much to learn. Uh, I'm bringing, of course, a very, very heavy base to your team, and uh, it's based around you know being able to deal with most things, and of course with Hail in mind, as you guys probably can see from the screenshot. Uh, now going over Gareth's team, we have Arcanine, Decidueye, Chandelure, Kabutops, uh, God of War, and of course Gramble. And Gramble definitely stands out mainly because it's not that common in, of course, UU, but it's definitely effective. It's a good defensive wall if you don't have any Pokémon that have in Defiant. So it definitely works here and definitely against me. I don't have a proper switching versus this necessarily because of course the earthquake situation that of course you can learn. Uh, I myself is using of course Conkelder, a lowland sand slash with Iceum C over Life Orb, Nine Tails with Life Clay and uh, Aurora Veal, uh, Entei, Badded Variant, uh, Arcanine I was gonna say, but that's definitely an Aerodactyl, and of course a mega Aerodactyl for this environment. And of course Tentacruel. Um, Rapid Spin variant with, of course, Toxic Spikes in mind. Here's, of course, support Nitals and Entei. So, uh, really, with all this said, of course, let's, of course, go into the match. Now, from the get-go, I decided to lead off with uh, Conkelder because I thought it was a fair lead, as he starts off with Arcanine. But that's okay. I was suspecting, of course, don't see Intimidate, so I was definitely expecting Will-O-Wisp. I said, I'm glad so he thought I could take it. But he flare blitzed me, and it does a lot of damage on Twitch. Definitely, it's... It's definitely in, on the insane amount of damage. I go for knockoff. Had I gone for drain punch, I might very well have killed it. But knockoff, of course, don't give me anything, <laughs> really. And I'm forced to switch out. I know extreme speed is coming. I definitely know my intake can take that. Uh, I could have gone for mag punch, but as stated, I was pretty sure extreme speed was coming. And uh, consider how much damage the flare list did, it's very likely extreme speed would, of course, finish me off. So he switches out here and go directly to Pink Brute. Uh, I do believe I myself going for extreme speed, trying to out-prioritize him. That was probably a jump play, thinking about it. I knew his flash fires, so I would not go for sacred fire. Uh, so I can't do anything gramble. I was fearing I could get thunder waved. I can't risk that. So I'm gonna send in my uh, Arman Jack or Tentacruel as he switches back to his loyalty to Arcanize. He's definitely playing me here for a fool, as uh, I'm definitely for switch out since I know already it's offensive and going for wild shots. I might as well throw in Entei yet again and try to soak that, then you know, get into the same environment yet again. As he goes for Crunch, that's a good thing. It does a lot, but that's a good thing. I decided to go for Stone Edge here, mainly because I know I can take him to Stream Speed, and uh, I knew that the Gravel was going to get him, but he actually switches into Chandelure as I connect the Stone Edge, and Chandelure is gone. And that's great, <laughs> that's really great. And uh, now I can spam Extreme Speed or so desire. I was probably fearing I was going to go for that move exactly. And of course, trying to get immunity out of that. Sadly, that failed. But definitely a strong play no matter what. As Gravel comes back, and I don't have a proper switch in here. I decide, you know what, let's sack Conkelder. I can't risk any other residual damage. As actually, Arrow and Desidueye comes in. And I feel like, you know, fuck it. You know, I, I can't take any, anything anyway. So he's going to go for Spirit Shackle. That's going to finish off Conkelder. And of course, I'm gonna say this, Conkelder definitely fell for the wrong reasons. Definitely shouldn't stay in for the flare blitz there. I was definitely getting overconfident. But I do see this as a given opportunity to go for Toxic Spike. Setup Toxic Spike is gonna be important for this matchup because of his defensive walls in mind. As it goes to Spirit Shackle, I realize the issue there is that I can no longer switch out. That's that's annoying. The, the critical hit does not necessarily bother me. I definitely take the hits from it really well. It's not an offensive area, I can definitely tell that. As I go for a sludge bomb, basically I would hold over a poison, anything. As I see his super special defensive, and all of that, he got cursed. I'm locked in here and he has cur I I am I am out. Like seriously? Like, don't get me wrong here. That's an excellent way of using Spirit Shackle, and that's an excellent situation to use it in when Tentacruel cannot be able to of course kill you. I get that. But this is embarrassing. And not only that, he goes for Protect, and I was like, dude, Jones. <laughs> so I'm pretty much screwed here. This this really, really was frustrating, 
And like I said, I am kind of in awe right here and now because that's such a great combination. Locking you in, then going for curse. I mean, come on. I haven't seen this in like since Generation 2 with, of course, trainers, but this this works out wonderfully. And of course, without Protect and, of course, Spirit Shackling Curse, he has, of course, Rue. So he's, he's very, very able to take care of himself. And uh, I felt, you know what? I lose Santa Cruel, I get Toxic Spike. I don't know if it was worth it. I really don't know. I should definitely switch down my Mera Aggrodactyl and just freaking try to kill it. Because it ends up basically with me being. Well, losing my spinner, I don't get a poison, I don't get anything, but this is Sidua, he just eats me. And luckily, it goes with Spirit Shackle, doesn't go for another roost. So, with that in mind, I felt, alright, I can switch an Aerodactyl, I can go for Pursuit, he's most likely gonna kill, he's most likely especially defensive, it has to be that. And Pursuit's so very, very killing me, so switch out, since I only know he has Spirit Shackle, as an offensive move, I do believe that's good. So, I take this opportunity, he actually just tried to switch out, and I was like, oh, yes! At least we get him out of the way. That's like that's important. That's really important. Miragdactyl is definitely showing what it's made of here and goes for pursuit and we take the Sidui out. Though, as stated, the Sidui itself, the sets, awesome. Freaking great. Awesome job, Gara. Uh, as I switch to Pink Brute. Now, I could stay in actually here going for Wing Attack or Stone Edge. Even Intimidate the Miner should be able to do a lot of damage. But I still have an option, and I'm gonna try to offend him as well as I can. So I'm gonna actually go to Isolde, which of course is my low nine tails. Uh, and as stated here, it's a light clay version with, of course, the Aurora Billy Mind. Uh, he goes to play rough. It doesn't do that much. It's you know basically 50%. It's it's okay. What makes a low nine tails so really really great is it's the only Pokemon that can actually you know get Healy Mind and Aurora Veal. And it's such a powerful move because it's a dual screen variant. And while I've seen sets with nasty plot on offensive moves and stuff like that, I can't ignore it. The Aurora Veal just sold so much. Now, this Gramble actually go for C Healing Wish or Heal Bell, which means he gets fully recovered here, which is okay. But he also gets his HP back. And I'm like, dude, come on, really? <laughs> this is this is not good. So it's back on track, and of course it's going to be annoying. As I'm gonna switch in my Cashier here, knowing that Iron Head will very well kill it as it goes with Play Rough. Uh, and Play Rough does nope because I'm a Sand Slash. Uh, what is unfortunate here is that I should very well have gone for Swords Slash because I'm under Hail. Because it goes for Protect here. And the reason I wanna say that it should have been better for go for Protect, I freaking used my Ice UMC. I was, you know, I felt, you know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna freaking punk something up. Now look at Sand Slash there. Freaking mean son of a bitch. He <laughs> looks so pissed, but yeah, it's really, really unfortunate because I could have dented something. With what stands in mind, I could very well have wrapped the game from here because I do have three hail turns left, or so really two at least. So I'd have gone for Swords and I would have two in mind. I very well could have killed stuff, but Iron Head definitely a KO, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, <laughs> she probably not. I definitely feel that I wanted to capitalize on, of course, the, um, the, um, not using Lifer because I feel that it's very easy to wheel down a Lola Nine Tails. Uh, no, I mean Sand Slash. So I felt like, let's go for ICMC. You know, it's 100 base. It doesn't have exactly like, the highest of attacks, but things survived. Like Gramble survives. I mean, I haven't lost my attack yet, or I did lose it clearly now, but. It didn't kill. Iron Head did not kill. It stabbed and everything, and no. So, sadly here, I have to switch out. I mean, the hail is gone after all. It goes for Rapid Spin, no more Toxic Spikes, which is unfortunate. And pretty much more salt in my wound, really, consider, of course, the toxic effect on his team. Definitely important, and uh, feeling that only Cabotops is the only one poisoned? Yeah, it kind of sucks. As I decide to go for Stone Edge here, I barely <laughs> missed out on the KO, which is just the best. As I activate the weak armor, I'm really glad here that I have poisoned mine, that he is poisoned, because he's gonna KO my guys. But not only that, due to poison and his own life form, he's actually gonna fall. Now, he would have fallen to poison and no matter what, but yeah, that's good. I mean, activating that weak armor gets kind of scary. Uh, so, I'm gonna send Grindel as we see Valentina, the Guard of War. I was fearing it could be Scarfed, but even if it is Scarfed, he won't want to KO me with a Thunderbolt. I mean, a Moonblast, or Thunderbolt probably kills me. So, I actually decided to switch out and I think about it. And go back to his soldier. Um, I was really hoping he locked himself into something and I could start sweeping with my Lowland Sand Slash. But no, it goes for Healing Wish. 
And while that's awesome and all, that means that that freaking mean son of a bitch that we call Arcanine is back. And of course, not only that, Marvel Levita is gone. So I have to set up another one in motion because now this guy is back on track. But not only that, he is actually really, really scary because I need to whittle him down. Alolan Ninthos cannot do that. So with that in mind, uh, he does go for extreme speed hit, which is great because I do survive it, which is, hey. <laughs> So go for War Wheel, I feel like no, it's a fair exchange considering the given situation as um, I'm gonna bank everything on my Alolan Sash to be able to go for an Earthquake and finish it off. Uh, since we already know it's offensive, I should be able to pull that off. Or, you know, at least so I think. Other than that, you know, I can only go for Arcanine, go for Aqua Tail and wrap it up through there. But anyway, Alolan Sash is in, we're gonna wrap the game up as um, I really 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 should be live for here in the future it freaking survives nothing yet again luckily for me though he goes for flare blitz or he could have really well gone for close combat trying to preserve himself but no he goes for flare blitz and that's great because that means he falls and i win 1-0 so gara thank you so much for the battle I really really enjoyed this one very very powerful game here a lot of weird stuff that this city is stuff with nightmares that i i can't say anything else than i, I enjoyed it that was great it was freaking awesome more of things like that so, anyway guys, of course, thank you as always for watching, make sure to check out Gar on Twitter when I battle him, like I said, he's very unconventional, and it sure as hell works, it definitely works against me, he's, he's a monster and I love every second of it. So anyway guys, thank you of course so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, until then of course, take care, bye.